You know, when a Tampa man swims to the surface on Friday, he'll have broken the world record living underwater for 100 days. But Dr. Joe Deturi, who goes by the nickname Dr. Deep Sea, is not just chasing records. He's conducting what he's hoping will be life-saving, life-changing research. And for the three months he's been down there, he has Zoomed with STEM students, scientists, and reporters from all over the world. But only one reporter has been invited down below into his underwater habitat. Near the tip of the Florida Keys, a short swim from the dock at the Jules Undersea Lodge sits a submerged habitat overflowing with promise. Teeming with fish, it rests at the bottom of this crystal clear lagoon, Joe Deturi's home and lab away from home, accessible only by diving 30 feet down and swimming up into a six foot opening into the pressurized floor. Let's go see what Dr. Deep Sea has been up to, or I guess we should say down to. He's welcomed scientists and students from all over into his undersea classroom, but he hadn't invited any journalists down below until he heard I was bubbling to see and hear more. Through his portal to the underworld, his enthusiasm for my arrival is only tamed by four inch thick glass. A fist bump later, I'm directed downward. This most unusual entrance gets an equally warm welcome. His energy is infectious, and his passion is just as intense for studying pressure on the human body. And it may be dramatic. In just three months, he tells me he's shrinking. Lost about a half inch at least is my feeling, because when I, I used to stand up and I used to hit this thing, I used to just barely scrape it with my hair, right? Okay. Like my hair would get caught. And no more. Now either my hair's gotten flat, er, or <laughs> I'm, I've shrunk. But you expect to regain that, right? Don't know. After a 28-year career in the Navy, diving and designing submersibles, Deturi retired as a Special Operations Commander and then earned his Ph.D. in Biomedical Engineering at USF. Convinced of the benefits of hyperbaric therapy, he opened a center in Tampa to heal concussions and traumatic brain injuries. Then, that car accident a year and a half ago. Sustaining a traumatic brain injury himself, all of a sudden, the suicidal thoughts he'd treated in vets now filled his head. The end of October, I said to myself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill myself if this keeps going. I said, but I have to be a good Navy guy and do everything that I possibly can. His breakthrough, he tells me, came from his team of friends, doctors, and researchers. And what we found is that if you treat the person from a physical, physiological, and psychological perspective simultaneously, you can cure it. Now, he wants to extend our lifespan as well. Short of an occasional swim to stretch his legs and do some conditioning, he's huddled in this 100-square-foot submersible, built 50 years ago in Puerto Rico, brought to South Florida in the early 80s, set up here in this Key Largo lagoon for tourists to spend the night underwater. It's the ultimate recreation. So we're doing. Dr. Deturi saw it as the perfect Petri dish for him to monitor his body changes over 100 days and nights under pressure. He does have a small toilet, shower, and some fold-down cots. But he wears a portable EKG monitoring his heart. His cholesterol is already down 72 points. He's seen a decrease in all of his inflammatory markers. His body is also producing stem cells, telomeres, those distinctive structures at the end of our chromosomes that should be shortening at this stage in his life. His are growing. I suspect, and I will find out when I'm fully done with this, exactly how many, but add that many more to my life. And that I mean, new cells, new growth, new yeah. longevity. Is that the thought? Longevity. That's exactly what it is. And while a return to the office means giving up this front row seat to the cycle of life. <laughs> right across there is the partridge family of lobsters. The worms get eaten by the small fish, and the small fish yeah. get eaten by the big It's like, oh, it, it sounds like there you're you going to miss this. I'm totally going to miss this. <laughs> <laughs> His trade-off will be seeing his findings make a difference, both here in his office and beyond. We are fixing people, and I, and I mean we are fixing people. By unlocking life-changing mysteries of the deep.
We have an extended interview as well because he just went on for about 45 minutes with him. Uh, so fascinating to listen to. So that's on fox13news.com. Much more there. Dr. Deturi emerges from that habitat on Friday. A team of doctors will be there to monitor his safe return. After that, he's back to the undersea oxygen clinic that he has in South Tama. And he's also hoping to present his findings this fall at the World Extreme Medicine Conference in Scotland.